Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. A two hour edition of Monday Night Raw is in the books yet once again. Um, I think the highlight of this upcoming week is that uh, WWE WrestleMania tickets are going on sale on Wednesday on the pre-sale. Uh, me, Ravi, and Miguel are looking forward to getting those um, today uh, out of the middle of nowhere. WWE announcer just seems like she quit. Or, I, I don't know. Like, uh, if her contract expired, you I, I think that we would have heard something about that in the works. Maybe they didn't want to make news out of it because they just thought the deal was to get done. I'm guessing she's going to go work uh, in AEW uh, with her boyfriend, Ricochet. But the legend, the, the <laughs> Lillian Garcia, makes her return to WWE. I, I kind of wonder, honestly, like, did she leave WWE to just do her singing career? Or um, that, that never really got off the ground? Or, or maybe it did, and I just, I, I, I didn't know about it. But uh, Lillian back, and I thought it was just a one-time thing to like sort of like fill in the gaps because um, it just came out of the middle of nowhere. But they say that her return is going to be full-time, and, and she's back at it again. Um, but the main event of Monday Night Raw... Braun Breaker against main event Jey Uso for the Intercontinental Championship. It almost went down exactly like, like I thought it was going to go down. Basically, as the match was going down, uh, we had the Bloodline make their appearance. Uh, they came down through the crowd, acting like they had a front row ticket. Uh, Solo Sokoa was basically telling um, Jay that he was there to help him win. Um, you know, it only took a moment before they jumped the rail and they were they were surrounding the ring. I will put up a fight for the bloodline. Uh, I'm a fan of Jacob Fatu. I'm a, I'm a fan of um, Solo Sokoa. Um, Tama Tonga is the guy that I followed for a really long time. I'm leaving one of them out on purpose. But um, uh, you got to be able to make an argument that they actually seemed like they were there. They, they didn't take any shots at Jey Uso. They definitely didn't take any shots at uh, Braun Breaker if they were trying to help him win. But uh, there was even a time when Braun was running around the ring ready to hit his super spear on Jey Uso. And Solo Sokoa actually pushed Jey Uso out of the way and absorbed the super spear himself. Um, you know, one thing led to another um, as the match was going on and um, they were exiting... Um, the bloodline away from ringside um when they were doing that i was counting at the steps i was like hey there's only three of them on the ramp that they're pushing away and uh as jay uso went back to the fight um I, I was waiting for for braun breaker to hit another speeder on him because of the way they were shooting him going around the ring um but as jay uso started to run at braun breaker who was around where the announce table was uh solo sokoa was there hit him with the super kick uh, dropped him on, on, right onto the uh, announce table, which I, I'm not sure if it was supposed to break, but it didn't. And, um, you know, Braun Breaker was just there to just basically pick the meat off the bones. Uh, picked him up, threw him in the ring, hit the spear on him. One, two, three, and uh, our man, Braun Breaker. I, I, I am a really big fan of his. I love his look. I love his feel. His promo last week I thought was dynamic. Some people said that it was like, it was... It was in the back. It was it was off a script. Some people said he was looking at cue cards. They did the same thing um, this week with um, oh shoot, what's her name? The girl that hangs out with Liv Morgan is it is it Rodriguez? It's something like that. The girl with the really freaking huge back. She did one in the back, um, basically talking just about how. Um, Rhea Ripley needs to leave Liv Morgan alone. And, and that style of promo is freaking awesome. It reminds me, it's not the same, but it reminds me a lot of like when you're watching in the 80s and the early 90s and they would do like the backstage promos with, with Mean Gene in front of like the locker room sketch or they would have the green screen in the background and they would put like the wrestler's um, like logo um, behind them to get you like pumped up for... Um, going to a house show in your area um, or an upcoming pay-per-view. Um, I, I, I really liked it. Um, 
And, you know, Braun Breaker getting the IC belt back. He had it for 50 days earlier this year. Um, they've already, you know, seen him, like, squaring up with Gunther. Um, hoping that that match happens down the road. I think they got a lot of big plans for Braun Breaker. Um, he did the thing with Undertaker when he was in NXT. He held the NXT title for a long damn time. Um, he, he did the run where he kind of, you know, stayed around in the NXT for a while with Baron Corbin because they didn't want to put him on the main roster when they didn't really have a plan for him. I think they got a plan for him now. And it, it's freaking awesome. Love the dude. I see champ. Let's go. WrestleMania tickets Wednesday. Peace out. What are you doing? You want to go to WrestleMania?